Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the governor spring on your engine, make sure the engine has cooled. The ignition switch is in the off position and the key has been removed, if applicable. If necessary, disconnect the headlight wire harness. Then lift up the hood or engine cover and detach it. Now rotate the air filter cover retaining knobs counterclockwise and pull off the cover. Lift out the air filter. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw inside the filter housing. Now use a 3 8 inch socket or wrench to unthread the four blower housing mounting bolts. Detach the oil drain tube and lift off the blower housing. Use a 5 16th inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the control bracket. Pull the bracket off and use pliers to detach the old governor spring if still intact. Install the new governor spring by hooking one end on the governor arm and the opposite end on the throttle lever. Realign the control bracket and replace the screws to secure. Reposition the blower housing. Make sure the housing is properly seated on the air diverter. Rethread and tighten the mounting bolts to secure the housing. The longer bolts go in the back. Replace the screw in the filter housing. Reposition the air filter. Realign the cover and rotate the retaining knobs clockwise to secure. Reattach the oil drain tube to the blower housing. Reinstall the hood or engine cover. And reconnect the headlight wire harness if applicable.